cash only, which I actually like. Pizza review time. We are at a song, well, song Napoli Pizzeria. Special guest, Keenan Thompson, SNL, Mighty yeah. Ducks, two and three. Yeah, that's not later. Let's 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 first first of all, where are we? We are on We're on Houston, baby. We're on oh Houston, I'll pronounce that right. People get on me because Next I pronounce to this it Houston. Sixth Avenue. Yeah, Houston. They this fucking people go nuts. They don't like get up my asshole about it. It's not that big a deal, but yeah, it is Houston. Houston, <laughs> near the Sixth Avenue uh, Park, right? Is that a famous? Basketball I don't think park? that is that. I don't think so. The basketball West Third Park. Yeah. Well, whatever. We're around the corner from there. Anyway. They play basketball there. Yeah. We were noticing something in there. They're huge on Napoli, like Napoli pizza, this that. Like they, Naples. Yeah. Like Italy. That's Italy. Right. They got Maradona shit hanging left and right. Like his uniform, signed shit. Very confusing because that that's Argentina. Like apparently soccer. Yeah. Yeah. But I Italy's didn't big. You had to I'm tell not, me that. I didn't know that. Oh yeah, no, I, I'm all over the place. But I know this. Italy has good soccer too. Yeah, they got their own team. Yeah. yeah. So what's up with if you're gonna be so pro Italy, maybe root for Italy. Maybe the guys that own the place are Argentina. You know, I, it feels like you know they're capitalizing on the whole Italian thing. I don't yeah, know. that's what I'm like. Are you Argentinian yeah, or Italy? Because I, Frankie, you're a pizza guy. Do they make pizza in Argentina? I'm sure they do. I'm right. Okay. It, it's probably worldwide a little bit. I'm kind of on both sides. Here's how we do it. Now we take one bite and you give a score zero through ten. One bite. One bite. Okay. Then a score. All we right. try a different place every day in Manhattan. Amazing. You guys are lucky. What a great job. There you go. Well, I mean, I actually, in oh, SNL, I'm going to tell you, I was telling him on the way over, shout out to SNL, and let, in case you never heard of that right, little show. Right, it's the coolest right. thing I've done in New York so far is seeing the show. Amazing. Loved it. When was it? I saw uh, uh, Julia Louis dreyfus was the host. Amazing. That yeah. was a good show. It was I mean, a good she's show. She's great. All right, so one bite, don't burn yourself. It's hot. My oh, no. fingers are like burning on the bottom. They almost sold a, a brick oven to this guy. He's looking at it. He's like, I'm going to build a brick oven in my house. Two minutes it took for this. Max. Floppy, little New York flop, a little bit of a fancy net Argentina style. One bite. I'm losing my cheese. Yeah, I'm losing it too. You're gonna burn yourself. One bite. Everybody knows the rules. Score. Go to count. That's a like that's a solid eight and a half. Eight point five. That's a solid eight and a half. Now I can eat the rest? Oh yeah. yeah. It's good pizza. It is good. It's light. Fresh ingredients. The cheese is so fresh. Light crust. Look at that. You, I love it. You're getting deep on this. Look at that crust. Do you like this or a football? Uh, this is a football pizza more. Like this is this is fancy pizza. This is it now? Maybe like you mean like delivery type? Yeah, yeah. Like what's your favorite pizza in New York? This place called Spoonto's. It's like a thin crust pizza. It's kind of like this, but... Is that the one that has the chain? Is that the same as Topo and... Possibly, I don't know. They, I guess they specialize in thin crust, but it's I amazing. I think it is. I think it is. It's amazing. Well, lost a little credibility. I don't think that... But yeah, I grew, I grew up on, like, Domino's and Pizza Hut, so... Well, anything's better than that. You know, you know what I mean? Yeah. If you care about your life. I... <laughs> I gotta give... This is a, uh... Keep it real. Oh, I always keep it real. I'm gonna go 7.7. 7. Oh, snap. Can I ask why the 0.8 in uh, deduction? Well, it's like a figure skating thing. It's it's We do one of these every day, so yeah. we've done like 150 of them. Yeah. So if you're just doing one through 10, I mean, you gotta run out of scores. I noticed it was blandish. The pizza? Yeah. Well, so then, but yeah. you gave an 8.5. That would contradict your bland I mean, score. But the ingredients are so fresh, and the cheese is so fresh, and the dough is nice and light as opposed to super thick, even though it looks all bubbled up, it's super light. So that's why I gave it. Such yeah, a this nice is like food. a knuckle puck. But, so you're going all over the place right. on me right the, here. It's the, like the great ingredients, be, light, great, bland. Yeah, I mean, it's a little bland. So I'm asking you, is that why you gave it? Yeah, I, I like it. I like it. I know this pizza generally doesn't have the firmness. Yeah. Like my fa favorite is cold fired. I like it crispy. Like I like when I when I hold it, yeah. it doesn't have a huge flop to it. This did. It's a different type of pizza, but it's very yeah. good. That's a sauce thing, though, right? Is that too much sauce? I think it's this style. Is it the thin this turned into twenty questions. It's like Jeopardy now. I well, think, I mean, you got me out here. I want to know. I did go. Well, um, <laughs> it's true. It's a fair question. I think it's this style. Like this is what I call fancy pizza. Right. Like it's it, it always sort of flops. It's always dripping. Yeah. Let's try it again. Yeah. Let's go. And the, I don't see the cheese just falling off like. 
like that. That's yeah. not good. I'm not That's proud not of that. Favorite thing. Uh -uh. I usually associate that with heat. I think so. So hot. I don't think it's bland though. I disagree with that assessment. Okay. Me and Keenan Thompson just eating pizza on it's a street corner. It's the clock that you don't like. I get New it. York clock. Mm -hmm. I don't love New York clock. I hear you. This is good pizza. It's very good. I like it. How would you pronounce Yellow it? Yellow sign. Next to Miss Lily's down there, the Jamaica joint. You know what I said. I also don't like the yellow sign. I feel like it should be red. Is that an Argentina thing? Like I don't know. They're all part. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Like when I think of time yellow pizza, blue? give me the red, give me the green, give me the flag. Yellow. I've driven by this place a lot. It's a little no, weird. No part of the Italian flag is represented. Zero. At all. What's good pizza? Is that that guy's name? Scusizo. He's a good guy. I know that. Is there a Napoli in Argentina? Are we sounding dumb now? Am I sounding dumb? No, I don't think you sound dumb, but I guess no. <laughs> That would be quite the ploy, though. <laughs> Imagine if there was, like, just saying you live in Naples, but it's, uh, like, in Brooklyn or something. Right. Not bad. in Naples, Brooklyn. You know where we are, by the water. <laughs> All right. I think that's a ruby. So 8.5, even though he said it's bland, which is a little weird. I'm 7.7, 7, the Captain Ray Bort. Good pizza. I wouldn't turn it down. Very good pizza. By the way, for me, that's a very high score. Anything yeah. over 7.0, I think, is pretty good. Yeah. So. Also, you know, food in front of you. How can you turn that down? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Excuse us. Yep. Mad New Yorker right there. It's all right. All right, that's a review. Don't care about our little shit. No. She's like, get that camera out of my face. It's all good. Yeah. Just being creative here. Don't mind us. <laughs> that's all. <laughs> all right. Getting in here? You got to get in here now that you're out here. All right. Can you explain yeah. the yeah, Argentinian man. connection? Argentina connection, me? Yeah. Well, you're Maradona. I yeah. have a Maradona. I don't speak English very good. I have a Maradona because Maradona played in Naples 90. 84 to 1990. Oh, he played in uh, Yeah, and gotcha. uh, Naples, he win uh, two Scudetto, Champions League, Coppa Italia, a lot of stuff. Oh, nice. So if Italy plays Argentina World Cup, you root for Italy? Alf L. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what? Alf Oh, Half I don't know. Yeah. Half and half. That doesn't add up. Yeah, no, that's good. Yeah. I hope this doesn't get back to Italy. <laughs> Really? No, I, like, I, I, like, I like I like Italia, but I love Argentina too. It's yeah. very a lot of Italians in Argentina, guys. Thank you for explaining that, man. Thank, Thank you, guys. Very much. You got the Italian there. What's up with the yellow here? This yellow. Uh, it's not letting yellow is a good color for the just pops. Yes. Just pops. Yeah. I read too much into it. That yeah. doesn't have anything. Yeah. Yeah. That's you just gotta popping. do what you gotta do. You gotta yeah. store for New York City. Yeah. 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 All right. Thank awesome. you, guys. All right. Yeah. Now, I forgot this because I'm I stink so at when we get celebrity. Yeah, me too. Yeah. By the way, I didn't love that answer. Root for Italy. Like, I mean, if we're being honest, <laughs> like, you can't root for both of them. What do you root for? His offense? Um, we didn't ask that. Thank you for coming out. What do we promote and why, why do you yeah, waste your time Yeah, I forgot to mention me? that I, I have a Kickstarter going. It's um, a, a clothing line called The Smile Parade. And, uh, you know, our main, you know, focus is, you know, it's an artistic type generated community that we're trying to start where basically the artists will get paid based on you know, whatever they design that sells directly, you know what I'm saying? So the artists should, should usually get paid a lot quicker, a lot faster. Yep. And we also want to try to build a base where artists can come together and kind of start something from the beginning themselves and make it like a, a communal effort to kind of start this cool brand. How long have you been doing it for? It just started, it's been on Kickstarter and it's got like a month left before like the deadline. Is so if Kickstarter works, you gotta, have you already hit, is it, I could be wrong, is Kickstarter you gotta like hit your goal and then it becomes real and if you don't, it does, is that what Kickstarter does? I mean kind of, there's like two versions of it where you can have samples or whatever but it's mostly like a measuring device to see who's kind of into it before you kind of spend money on yep. something. Yeah, so. right. That's that's kind of the situation. All right, I appreciate it, man. Yeah, are you the long? We, we were talking this over the last question. Are you the longest SNL cast member of all time? I was holding pizza in my hand. Yeah. Um, no. Yeah, I am. It's quite an honor. It's yeah, quite an honor. Yeah. Dead serious, by the way. Yeah. Best thing I've done in New York. I don't know how you get tickets. I got tickets because of the schmooze. Yeah. I think it's very hard to get tickets it for. It happens like that. But yeah. it is uh, awesome to see. Yeah. If you see a cast member, like run up to him and ask him. Right? I'm, I'm sure they'd love that. Yeah. They'd right. Do. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Thanks, man. Yeah, man.